ये जो ज्ञानी दिखने का जो लोभ है ये सबसे बड़ा रोग है आई रिपीट ज्ञानी दिखने का जो लोभ है ये सबसे बड़ा रोग है भले हम ज्ञानी हो ना लेकिन हम जताते कि हम ज्ञानी हैं स्पेशली वैन इट कम्स टू मैन विद ड्यू रेस्पेक्ट बिकॉज वी बॉयज वी मैन वैन वी रिकॉल आवर स्कूल डेज वी यूज टू टेक प्राइड इन आवर इंटेलिजेंस लाइक गर्ल्स दे यूज टू टेक प्राइड दे टेक प्राइड इन दे ब्यूटी सो मैन दे टेक प्राइड इन बी इंटेलिजेंट इफ समन कॉल्स दैम वाओ यू आर सो इंटेलिजेंट एंड वन ऑफ द इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस यू नो लाइक द पीपल लुक एट एज इंटेलिजेंट पैरामीटर इज मेमोरी लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स टूडे ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ डे टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर विच इज आई थिंक वर्ल्ड वाइड लुक अपॉन एज मेंटल हेल्थ डे इफ आई मे टेक अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक and the topic which uh, which comes to my mind today is uh, uh for the people who are in my age group into early 50s so we 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 people we have you know this kind of a challenge a mental challenge or whatever you can call it as uh, we keep forgetting things many times we see that you know uh, uh, the things are just at the tip of the tongue but we are not able to figure it out <laughs> and uh we start you know developing the cold feet and i have this habit of putting the things in a certain acronym so that it's very easy to register when it comes to mind and then easy to recall fine uh, uh pie p i e pie now let's have this chunk of good pie healthy pie so this p stands for physical aspect i for intellectual or psychological what we call it intellectual and e is definitely emotional and uh, when it comes to emotion mostly in business daniel goldman has the phenomenal work is it so okay fine so uh, now uh, when i was surfing through a couple of days back uh, uh, through harvard health and i could see good tips uh, life hacks when it comes to how how to enhance the memory during this age of 40s and 50s and what actually causes you know uh, memory a uh, challenge memory deterioration what's that so that, that's basically if i can remember <laughs> i can remember is that you know first one uh, they were talking about uh, transients transients is something that uh, over a period of time we start losing the importance or the gravity or the intensity of certain incidences or the events because uh, that's the natural phenomena natural process of offloading things which are accumulated in our brain um as, as as we progress with time it's not required so it is fine it, it gets offloaded and we don't remember many things yeah it starts dissolving dissipating whatever we can call it so that's basically transients and i i look at very really, very really natural phenomena right the second is they were talking about absent mindedness absent mindedness definitely is a result or consequent of uh, we are not able to completely uh, focus at that particular incidents we are just you know uh, uh present half heartedly so definitely we will not grasp the the entire picture so um, certainly we will we won't be able to remember things as they are we are supposed to remember that and the third one is very very uh, important when it comes to the 50s and beyond that's the blocking the blocking is the process or the phenomena of the disorder they were talking about that we 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 we, we know the things but somehow even like in discussion we we are not able to figure it out it's there it's there very much there in front of you but you are not able to name it not able to figure it out very clearly which things we remember in life what are those moments which we uh, really remember and uh, we don't try to remember in fact you know but remember in sense it's there in front of us what are those moments of course definitely the moments which are very close to heart which which touched our heart isn't it could be uh, both the extremes could be too negative could be too positive i mean by negative i mean where you you were you were thrown into a great disappointment maybe loss of your loved one or maybe some great loss some 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 severe shock you now uh, something which happened publicly when it comes to your self image whatever you know like and uh, it gets etched in your heart for months or years you're not able to work on that and many times it becomes chronic right 
and it leads to differently depression and rest of the things. Likewise, the happiest moments, the happiest moments, your achievements, your loved ones' achievements, in the accolades, whatever you know. So these achievements, maybe you know you, you are able to achieve something which you are pursuing very hard and you get it that, you know. So these are the moments. So life is basically these moments, the good moments and so-called the bad moments, right? So that is one thing. So uh, if you ask me what I'm trying to indicate it is memory is less of the head, less of head, you know, it's less of brain work. It's more of heart work and close to your emotions. Yeah, those moments we, we, we remember, we recall, we recall, we don't forget. They get deeply etched, right? That is one. Second, uh, uh, definitely very much related with this only. When you are in deep love, true love, madness, you know, mad, you are mad about something, you know, that kind of genuine you are, you know. Suppose you are sitting with your family, with your loved one. So, uh, you, you don't you don't get distracted. You, you are completely present in that moment. And I keep saying only the person who is present, 100% in the present, can only present the best present. I repeat, only the person who is present, 100% in the present, can only present the best present. So when you are in communion, in company with the person, or maybe the place which you really love, could be adventure sport or maybe anything, it could be could be anything, good, beautiful landscape. Yes, or could be your hobby or maybe your favorite movie and in that movie some your some of your favorite scenes. So there you are completely rooted there, then there, you know, nothing nothing distracts you. So when you are present, when you are absolutely present, do not forget. Do not forget. Right? Do not forget. Now, as we advance in age, in 40s and 50s, there are so many things, right? So our brain gets occluded with so many things. A lot of you know, um, information, information overload which leads to uh, overthinking and we fail to prioritize and we fail to prioritize which is important, which is significant. Yeah. So when we, when we look at this, you know, planning, prioritization uh, and uh, definitely the performance and one thing which, which we all know that is like procrastination of all those things which tend to become OCDs, especially the negative aspect that eats up a lot of your energy, right? It, it, it actually drains you. So when we learn that art, that this is very important for me, especially when it comes to professional front, I can't afford to say even in 50s or maybe in 60s, yeah, I can't afford to say when it comes to my assigned role that you know I, I have I have forgotten the products and the processes and the service and whatever the SOPs I'm supposed to know and I'm supposed to deliver to my clients, to my stakeholders. No, I need to have that. So here I would like to say that the solution is. Um, uh, you know, uh, if I may recall, the VAC, visual, audio and kinesthetic, everybody has a different learning style, right? By VAC, I mean V stands for visuals, I mean the video. Yeah, uh, some people, including me, I, 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 I have this affinity to uh, learn from visuals. That fascinated me a lot, the visuals, the videos, great pictures, illustrations, right? That is, and then A stands for auditory. Some people love to listen to the podcast, you know, they are high on auditory. And the K stands for kinesthetic. This is basically doing by yourself, self-experience. Even I am a little bit into that, you know. I believe in doing by myself. So when you do, when you do by yourself, irrespective of the learning style, that 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 uh, remains with you for a longer time, right? That's your own experience. That's not a borrowed knowledge. That's not limited to only the information and the knowledge. That becomes your skill, your own experience, right? So these these are the few uh, challenges. Uh, the, uh, sorry, these are the few solutions which I can think of. Yeah. So let's come back to pi. P I E. The experts say that it's about blood. It's about oxygen. Many times, you know, our brain lacks that kind of oxygen supply. So the solution, what they are saying, is mobility. Movement is life. Workout. It can be good brisk walk. It can be playing any sport. Could be any racket game, or could be jogging, or could be blend of both cardio and strength training. Whatever it is, but the idea is basically good, good blood circulation, so that you have enough oxygen to your brain, and then brain function at its optimum capacity. That is. So definitely, when when it comes to the workout or when it comes to the exercise, yeah, it could be anything. Yeah. So uh, related to that is, I keep talking about the uh, RED, RED basically the rest exercise and the diet so exercise 
yeah, physicality uh, and talking about then very good sound sleep seven to eight hours of sleep whatever as per your body that it can be quality six to seven hours also in my case six hours yeah but it should be really quality sleep that is during night time I mean your natural sleep and during daytime by restfulness I mean being meditative being meditative you, you should be having this ability whatever the way you have you know everybody has his own style ability to snap your mind when you are getting getting stuck into some negative ne negative zone and then come out of that and get into your positive aspect so you don't deplete the energy so you are restful you are meditative you are with yourself that's what and uh, definitely good diet we need to avoid anything which is toxic and the time where you know when you are having your meals so many people believe in intermittent fasting because it enhances your growth hormones and so forth. so you need to keep your body very very healthy and body is directly proportional to mind and vice versa as it says because buddha says healthy mind dwells in healthy body i repeat healthy mind dwells in healthy body so body is wonderful design what a beautiful design it is by by, by god given to all of us so we need to take care of it and it has its own intelligence it has its own healing properties then uh, uh, on physical part then when it comes to i there's intellectual thing is to enhance your memory the experts keep talking about anything which you can uh, try in you new know, it can be learning new language it can be even solving some good puzzles uh, could be mathematical equation that that whatever you know you, you find it interesting it could be trying to connect the dots look at the bigger picture so, yeah i would like to say that when it comes to intellectual many people get uh, towards this logical side of brain the left brain which is a very analytical brain and they keep on polishing you know uh, their analytical skills and they keep on doing the work which can stretch their an, a, a, analysis their analytics so a is equal to b b is equal to c therefore a is equal to c but then we need to get into the right brain as well as you may be aware that Sherlock Holmes and Albert Einstein they used to they, they used to use their right, right brain a lot which is creative brain intuitive brain meditative brain like artistic artistic side of the human the artist the artistic side of human nature they like to unwind with some 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 art some art form so so it's not so not just use so it's not just using the left brain but right brain as well that's what we call it as whole brain thinking or, or holistic uh, development yeah i keep sensitizing in my uh, in my programs and then e e is basically the emotional uh, and then e is basically the emotional area and when it comes to emotions uh I need to be always in the positive, uh, when it comes to emotions, I believe that one has to be emotionally intelligent and what I mean by emotionally intelligent is any emotion which can make you healthy, uh, happy and harmonious, that's basically uh, emotional intelligence and enables you to connect with people, get in communion with people and makes you more and more, more compassionate and you start contributing towards a society beyond borders share with you mirza galib is very close to my heart that's basically zindagi ki uljhan ko maine kuch is tarah se saaf kiya kuch logon se maangi maafi aur kuch logon ko maaf kiya so good that if you are able to forget and forgive <laughs> intellectually also you should let go so if you ask me the trying to say is the essence is uh, so as we age unfortunately our ego uh, gets more crystallized and when it comes to ego, uh, one of the reflections of the ego is uh, we stop listening. We stop listening and uh, by listening, uh, I'm, I'm getting into uh, the higher version. Is basically we stop learning new things, especially new things. We stop learning. We, we stop sharpening the saw. The quote unquote Stephen Covey when it comes to seven habits, one of the major habits is keep sharpening the saw so we stop learning so when we stop learning what happens by learning i don't mean just assimilating the information uh we, we stop taking risks because we are concerned about our image the fear of failure at this age at this stage of life and we think that we are working with younger generation and what they will think about us so we think that our stakes are very very high so 
we, we, we know that it's a proven fact during school days, during college days, I mean the younger days, whenever you used to that in great learning mode, we used to, uh, we used to learn new things and so new, new thought, new experience, new neuron and, and, uh, and our intelligence grows, I mean the IQ grows. It's as simple as that. So, and what is happening, the other aspect, you know, is as we, as we age, there are so many hormonal changes, the hormonal imbalance. Like women, they, they start, uh, uh, when it comes to women, they face a lot of challenges, a lot of heat when it comes to decline of estrogen. And when it comes to men, a reduction of testosterone. So all the functions related with this respective uh, hormones, they get affected, they get uh, adversely affected and which indirectly, directly affects your mental health. Don't we become more impulsive? Don't we become more irritable? Don't we become, yeah, right? I'm the boss here. I'm the elderly person here. I know more than you, you know. So I have more experience, right? So we, we, we get blocked. And since we get blocked uh, towards existence, towards the people, and which is why we face this maybe blocking challenge, right? So uh, the solution obviously is, uh, if, if you feel that you are getting deficient of something, try to become more efficient by using the technology, but don't be over dependent on that. For example, when I used to be uh, in one of the, um, one of the multinational uh, retail business, we used to have the checklist, so whenever it comes to opening the stores or closing the stores, we need to have the checklist. So that we don't forget the things, we adhere to that and we don't miss out on the important things, right? So definitely now, uh, a lot of technology, uh, technological helps are available, so you can make good use of it, but don't become all dependent to it, right? Don't get all dependent to the extent that you don't use, use your brain at all and it gets rusted in the context of the RED, the rest, exercise and the diet. So you need to get into the nutrition, which is very, very essential when it comes to your mental health, when it comes to your brain health. Yeah, maybe omega-3 and the rest of it. I'm not an expert to that. Maybe get in touch with the good dietitian and a doctor. And they will tell you, you know, what, what you need to uh, have. Maybe uh, supplements are up to a certain extent. But I believe in, you know, uh, uh, deriving those nutrients from the primary sources, from, from, your, from the food you eat. That is. And uh, another aspect is, uh, since we are getting into this overthinking business, and we have accumulated so many thoughts over a period of time at this at this age of 40s and 50s, you know, so a lot of experiences. So we need to start offloading those things and try to live in the present moment. Try to live in the present moment. Yeah. And when we are totally into some physical activity, we are having minimal uh, thoughts because we are engaged. So we need to start engaging ourselves into physical activity. Maybe dancing, maybe painting, whatever you can think of, you know. So I, I, that's my personal practice. I look at that way. And then when it comes to your intellectual stuff, you know, remembering, there are so many, so many, you know, uh, memory tricks, you know, how, how we can, you know, uh, start boosting your memory. You can definitely adopt that. Like in housekeeping, uh, I have worked, we used to say that, har cheez ke liye jaga, aur fir wo cheez usi jaga. So you need to determine certain things where you can keep those things. For example, keys, the house keys, the car keys, we have certain place at our at our home at our home, isn't it? And we keep the keys there only. So that's one. But the most important thing is ability to be in the present moment. Ability to be in the present moment. The people who are in the present moment as much as possible. The, the, the energy is not eaten by, by 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 the unwanted thoughts hovering around all the time there. We are able to try away that. They don't get driven by thoughts, they are able to drive away their thoughts. So don't feel victimized. You should be able to emerge out as, as a great victor. And for that, I would say, uh, you need to start accepting the things as we age. Yes, age is a beautiful thing. Let's age gracefully. If you are able to forget, as I said that, it's okay to forget. Yeah, especially when it comes to the personal grudges. And you need not to look like grumping all the time, you know. So let go all those things and let come out of this OCD also that, you know, 
think big and we all want you know astronomical things no it's okay enjoy the small small things of life you know, small small things god lies in detail in small small things small small happinesses yeah start appreciating people start appreciating yourself start loving people start start loving yourself that's what i feel love is a great healer love is a great healer so if you let go that greed of uh, uh, you know knowing more accumulating more assimilating more yeah trying to showcase show off that you know more than anyone else and, uh, and you don't worry about that why do you know uh, have that image uh, to create that image that you are moving encyclopedia no problem brain fog is if it's very very natural but there is a way out whatever the dense the fog or the clouds would be but if you if you are able to uh, rekindle the inner light the flash within you i should we should, I, i think we should be able to dispel the darkness of all those fogs and the clouds fine let, let be the light don't seek the light but be the light be the light thank you very much